Okay, this is my sourdough adventure. I'm going to tell you right now, and it's a bad ending. <laughs> it does not go well. But I think it's just as important to show that you try things, that there are things that don't go the way you want them to, but that it's all part of learning to do things a different way. So no shame in my sourdough lack of game. <laughs> Enjoy. Welcome back to Winter Project 2 of 503. I really like to start and try and learn new things all the time. You're going to find this out about me if you keep watching very much. Um, even with my gardening, I'm always trying new plants. But in the winter time, in this break that we have between when I pulled my garden out and preserved everything before I can start seeds, I have tried teaching myself how to crochet. And I have a half decent stretch of yarn that will be something at some point. And the number two thing I wanted to learn this winter was sourdough. I ordered my sourdough starter. It's this old world sourdough starter. And I got it from Baker Creek, which is rare seeds. And I, uh, it was $10. So I ordered, it's a dehydrated starter. Um, and I'll pull it out and show you maybe. Maybe cardboard. This is my little letter. Isn't it cute? And this is my starter. So it's dehydrated and I have to add water to it. Um, I am not a sourdough expert. I am a straight up sourdough beginner. So this is just learning from scratch right along with me. I'll videotape this beginning part and I'll add it together until I actually make a loaf of bread. Okay, so we are going to find the instructions that's a recipe. Let's see here. Here we go. All right. So, attention, do not use chlorinated or distilled water. So I am going to use my Berkey. I have a Berkey to, um, to have non-chlorinated water. You can also just put your water out and leave it on the countertop and the chlorine will uh, evaporate. Um, after a while and you have to look that up because I don't know how long that is. So here's my instructions. So I'm going to mix a half a cup of warm water, like bath water it says, with a half a cup of flour and then stir in my dry starter. Cover with plastic wrap or a lid and let stand for 24 hours. All right, so that's step one. So because I don't like to start any project without something fun, this is going to be, um, this is going to be my sourdough starter jar. It is skinny. I like that it's skinny. It can fit in my refrigerator because once you start making this, if you want it to go kind of inactive and you don't want to actively making bread anymore, you can put your starter in the refrigerator. So I want something that wouldn't take up a lot of room, but I could still keep my starter going. So I'm going to make this starter. Let's take a look at how it goes. Okay, I have amassed my ingredients. It took me a very long time. <laughs> um, I have a half a cup of warm water, so I took that out of my Berkey and I just heated it up a little bit in the microwave, and it is good. I've got all-purpose flour, and I've got a half a cup scoop in there. So it says to mix those two in my jar. One. You're going to find I'm not great at measuring, but that looks like a nice even scoop. That's a half cup scoop. Joop. All right, there's that. Close that up. And now it says to mix in, stir in, let me read this again, stir in your dry starter. All right, here's all my dry starter. Put that all in there. Hi. Ava wants to say hi. Hi, Ava. <laughs> We're making bread starter, and I'm just going to stir this in with a wooden spoon, and let's take a look at it. It's kind of tasty. I don't exactly know what it's like here. Can you kind of see that? Kind of like, I don't know, you're making glue. Oh, it smells good. All right, so we've stirred it in there. I'm going to put the lid on it and we'll leave it for 24 hours. So I'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what it looks like. Anybody else have these cats that insist on drinking out of your faucet? Gracie, why must you do that? Hmm? 
Why? What is it? What is it? She acts like she never gets anything to drink. I swear there's water out there for her all the time. But she cries up there. Okay, I'm just checking on my sourdough. So here's day number two. And I pulled this out and it says, check it after 24 hours, your starter should have almost pinpoint size bubbles. So let's check this out around the cattail. Ooh, okay. Again, mix a half a cup of warm water and a half a cup of flour and stir it into the starter. All right, so I have got a half a cup of flour in there and a half a cup of warm water right here. So all I'm going to do, whoops, is stir these together. I'm going to add it to my starter. Bubbly. I'm actually pretty excited about it. I hope this works. We have, I have a gluten problem. I can eat it, but it doesn't like me very much. Um, and I've read some things, and it, again, this is totally do your own research. I know nothing other than what I have found. But I've done some research that kind of suggests that maybe the people that have gluten problems actually have a problem with how gluten is processed in processed foods. So maybe if you do it yourself, it will not affect you as much. All right. So I've poured that into here. I'm going to mix it up. Okay. Here's what it looks like. Lots of bubbles. All right. And then it says, now you should see more bubbles and some foam. Oh, uh, I do. Cover and let stand for 12 hours. So it is currently 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock tonight, I'm going to repeat this again. And then 10 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night tomorrow, I'm going to do that before I move on to step four. All right. So now we're going to hurry up and wait. Seal her up. See how she goes later. Okay, I have my mixture to feed my starter again. Half a cup of flour and half of warm water. Here is my sourdough starter. Let me open her up. Whoa, there's a lot. She's not looking super great. Let's feed her. I'm gonna mix her up. Hang on, let me get a spatula. And I'm gonna be really honest, sourdough might not be for me. And that's okay, because I don't need to do everything like everybody. This might just not be my thing, because here's the deal. You gotta feed this stuff. And I think I was supposed to feed this last night again. Hang on, we'll look at the instructions. All right, so it's got bubbles. It's kind of liquidy. It smells funny. I don't know. We'll see how she goes. All right, I'm gonna close her back up. That's what I'm supposed to do. And let's look at the instructions again. Hang on. Am I so pretty? All right. So we mixed it up. We added this, and let's see, it says, let's stand for 12 hours, and then I should see more stuff. Repeat it at least twice, three times would be better. So I've let it stand for more than 12 hours. I didn't do it last night. I did it this morning. Um, I don't know if that's okay, honestly. Like I said, this is an experiment together. I don't really know. Okay, friends, I've done some researching on sourdough, which... I don't know, if you're gonna start a project like sourdough, maybe you should read about it a little bit more first. I thought I knew what I knew, and I didn't. Hi, Gracie. Um, this is my sourdough starter. It's got this layer of liquid on top. I was very, very freaked out about that. It also has a really funky smell. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at this. This is not for me. However, I found out that liquid is called hooch, and it's normal. 
I mean, it's normal in the fact that it's not bad, but it's telling me that my starter is hungry. I'm not feeding it enough of that flour and water mixture that I'm supposed to be feeding it. So it says feed it more often, which makes sense because I frequently forget. Um, and if you feed it more often and it still happens, it says that you can double its feeding. So right now I'm giving it a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of water. I can give it a cup of water and a cup of... So, yeah. So first it says to mix it in and then feed it again. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm using a cup of water, a cup of flour. Oh, gross. I've made a giant mess. And I'm just going to mix it up. So now I've got this mixed up liquid and flour. I'm going to put it, I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to use a whisk. Here's what I'm going to do. I got, oops, sorry. All right, whoop. I'm going to take a whisk in here and incorporate this all real good. It's got lots of bubbles. That's good, right? <laughs> this is such a mess. All right. It has lots of bubbles. It doesn't smell bad when I mix it in. The hooch is all mixed in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up close it up and I'm going to put a timer on my phone for six hours and I'm going to check it and see if that hooch is starting to form again. All right, I'll see you in six hours. Okay, friends, calling it that sourdough starter and I are not going to be friends. Um, it obviously needs to be fed more because it's making all that liquid on top. I don't have time to feed it more. I'm going to forget to feed it more. This is not my season for sourdough, apparently. Um, I'd hoped it'd slow down. Now, it is the beginning. It's the 1st of December, actually. So I'm not going to give up totally. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to pitch this one. This one's no good. Um, or I don't know enough to make sure it's good. So uh, it's got to go. But I will start it maybe again in, like, January or February after the holidays are all done and I have more time to pay attention. Like, days were snowed in more. Um, maybe I'll try it then. But, um, yeah, now's just not the time. And I almost didn't throw all these videos together to show you, but I think it's just as important to see that even when I do something really cool, like my pantry, which is amazing this year, I do a lot of these things, too. A whole lot of try it and fail things. And my garden was try and fail. And my first salsa was try and eh, not so good. Now it's great. But everything that I'm doing, I'm trying and failing a bunch of times first. So sourdough, this is a big fail right now. But my time will come.